What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. So for today's video, I thought I would sit down and tell you guys all of my Sephora VIP sale recommendations and then I'm also going to be telling you guys what I'm going to be ordering. So if you guys don't know, the sale starts tomorrow on April 17th, I think that's tomorrow. I will leave all the details for the sale down below as well as links to all of these products. I want to run through them kind of quickly because I do have a lot of products and then I also want to tell you guys, like I said, what I'm going to be ordering. Also, I am filming this very casually, just like very vlog style because I simply cannot be bothered to do the whole filming setup and I wanted to just film this quickly before I head over to the CNC office so without further ado let's get into all of my Sephora recommendations so let's start with skincare my newest favorite is the Saturday skin cleanser I just actually got this like it's one of my most recent purchases but I love it I was having a breakout on my forehead I normally break out on my forehead due to stress like when I was in school oh my gosh like there was no controlling my breakouts on my forehead but I started using this and it cleared up in like two days now I don't know they could have gone away on their own but once I started using this cleanser I noticed a huge difference also a long time ago when all the stores were open and life was normal I went to Sephora and my best friend Ellie was talking or asking about a cream and the person there recommended this cleanser and I decided to test it out I really do like it now I don't have necessarily like the most problematic skin I'm very fortunate to have like relatively clear skin but I do enjoy this to remove my makeup every night I use this it's the Charlotte Tilbury multi miracle glow balm mask cleanser it says you can use this as a cleanser mask and a balm for baby soft skin I just use this to take my makeup off it takes all of my makeup off and it leaves my skin feeling very hydrated it looks like this it's like a jelly but it's very moisturizing I love how her products smell like they smell like I want to say like an old woman but I kind of love it this is a great time to pick it up because of the sale it's also a great time to pick up the crazy expensive skincare items the only product I really use is the drunk elephant from boost night serum I find that this does a really good job at making my skin really smooth. Sometimes I'll have like little bumps or texture on my skin and I notice that that really comes out when I don't use this. When I use this, it makes my skin all smooth, my makeup applies better the next day and it really is a miracle worker. I cannot live without this product. Now, I don't have a favorite moisturizer from Sephora at the moment. My favorite moisturizer is this one, which is available on Amazon. It's $10 or $20. I will also leave that link down below. But these are two standout products for me. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. I have the pink one, Pink Light. I put this on before my makeup. It makes my skin super glowy. It's hydrating. I just absolutely love it. In the same kind of category, these are my other two favorite glow products. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury I have the shade 3 and then this is the NARS what is this even called tinted glow booster in the shade Simos so I'm gonna quickly go through the difference between all of these and why I personally use all three of them for different reasons so this MAC strobe cream is more like a cream it definitely has like a cream base with shimmer in it I can put this on with no makeup it doesn't look too crazy it just gives your face a nice like glow whereas with these the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter is definitely shinier I wouldn't use this on its own unless I was just like highlighting what I had no makeup on like my cheekbones but it definitely is a lot more glow and in comparison this one is a lot thicker and the glow isn't as strong so if I show you guys quickly the top is the glow booster the bottom is Charlotte Tilbury and that probably did nothing for you the Charlotte Tilbury one is more of a true glow whereas this one has more coverage in it so on no makeup makeup days I would go in with this one because it's not like a disco ball on your face and it does have like kind of more of like a foundation-y base where this one is like strictly more of like a glow product and sometimes at the end of my makeup I'll go in with this and I'll put it on my highlights because it is like a true highlighter the next product that I simply cannot live without is this Fenty primer it is the soft silk pro filter hydrating primer 
I either use this as a primer before I put on my foundation or I like mixing this into my foundation because I used to mix oil into my foundation but I thought that would sometimes be a little bit too oily and mixing this into my foundation gives the extra hydrating boost that I love without it being too oily so I simply cannot live without this primer I don't notice a difference with it like making my makeup last throughout the day let's talk about foundation so my all-time favorite foundation right now is this one it's the L'Oreal infallible foundation and I actually think think that's a great dupe like honestly I think they're very very similar to the Armani luminous silk foundation now I this was my tried and true my go-to my favorite foundation for a really long time and then other companies started coming out with really good foundations and this one kind of fell to the back burner right now I'm using a lot lighter foundation shades so I used to use the shade 7 I got the shade 6 and I honestly think that 6 is still too dark for me and it's hard because I do really love this foundation but it still doesn't beat my L'Oreal Infallible. This is my all-time favorite from Sephora. It is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. You guys know I absolutely love this. I love mixing this into other foundations. This mix with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation is so good. I have the shade 5.75 Cork. It is very hydrating. I get the most compliments on my skin when I use this and it's just so good. On to concealer. My all-time favorite concealer at the moment is this Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Concealer. It is just like such a good concealer. I have the shade L6 and that shade is perfect for me. And then my other favorite, which I can't live without is this hourglass concealer they are both very full coverage I find that this one is more matte if you want something a little bit more hydrating I would go with the Pat McGrath if you want something a little bit more matte and blurring I just like a little bit more flawless I would go with the hourglass I have the shade sepia in this one and like I said L6 in this one for cream contour I my all-time favorite is this hula quickie contour stick but Sephora likes playing this little game where they will put it on Sephora and take it off and put it on and take it off So if this is on at this very moment, I would go with the Hula Quickie Contour Stick But if it's not, I've been loving this Huda Beauty Contour in the shade Light These are very pigmented and these are very dark So originally I had gotten the shade Medium and it was so dark I couldn't use it and light just seems to be the perfect shade What I like about this is that it's a good mix between contour and bronzer out of the two I would go with this one it's a little bit less full coverage a little bit easier to blend but like I said Sephora is playing games alrighty in terms of powder I have two really standout products that are available at Sephora you guys know my all-time favorite face powder is the Maybelline fit me powder I need to have both set and bake with this powder I also love the Chanel loose powder that's not available at Sephora and this one is and honestly I love them equally so if you can save a little money I would go with this one this is is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I have this shade 2 medium, although it's not dark. It still really brightens me up, and I'm out of this, so I will be picking up another one, but this is just so good. This is probably the powder I found that kind of minimizes my pores the most. The second powder I have, I can't find my full size. I have this mini baby size, so this was like a whole fiasco in and of itself. This was like a little giveaway. <laughs> They're really just overdoing themselves, like... <laughs> This is smaller than the eyeshadow. But basically, it was a coupon, and this really threw me off, okay? Because the coupon, shade one, had the darkest colored picture and shade three had the lightest color picture so I wasn't sure if I should go with go by the picture or go by the shade so I ended up going by darkest color picture shade one I was like I don't know which one to go with but I'm going to go with this one ended up being wrong I think they had just inputted it wrong I should have gone with the color of the picture so I got this dark one I'm not so upset because it does work as like a nice nose contour but lo and behold it was the wrong one this is really good to set under your eyes set your entire face I do have shade 2 medium and I think I want to pick up shade 1 I don't really use eyeshadow palettes like I makeup I love makeup but I don't love eyeshadow I never have I don't get excited by eyeshadow I don't get excited by you know eyeshadow palettes my favorite part of makeup is complexion and mascara I think like those are my two favorites so I really love this camel palette from Natasha Denona it has like all of my colors I love this for my crease like these two and then I love this on the lid and then you can like do like a liner with this dark black color it's what I use today I just like love this palette Palette. but if you wanted more of like a full out palette I would go with the soft glam palette now yes you're probably thinking Tony all of your makeup looks like it was run over by a bus 
I know, okay? I don't know how it happens. All my makeup gets ruined. Mine looks ruined, okay? But I think if you wanted like a very wearable palette, this is the one I gravitate towards the most. But if I'm being honest, I just use bronzer in the crease. My all-time favorite bronzer is the Hoola bronzer. So I have this whole palette, but if I'm being honest, I don't use anything besides the Hoola Caramel, the Hoola, and sometimes I'll use the Cookie Highlighter. I personally like mixing the two, but if you had to pick just one, Hoola or Hoola Caramel, I would go with Hoola. You can see I've loved the heck out of this. It has a lot of pigment. You don't have to sit there and build it up and build it up. It's a good combination between being like warm and cool. It's just like the perfect bronzer contour. I love it so much. I should pick up like another single during the sale. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go broke during the sale. What can I say? Another bronzer, bronzer, another bronzer I love, which is actually very similar in color, is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. This is actually my second. I went through a full one of these huge bronzers. This has, I feel like, a little bit less pigmentation. Like, you have to build it up a little bit more than the Hoola, but overall, the color of it is really nice, and I do really enjoy it. And those are really the only two bronzers that I use every single day. I don't talk about brushes often because I use like the same brush for everything. Like this is my most used brush. I definitely need another one because it is like decaying. This is the Morphe M527 brush. It is the best brush. You will not regret it, I promise you. I cannot live without this brush. I don't like those synthetic bristles and this is definitely not synthetic bristles or like, you know those bristles that just feel kind of like plasticky? I cannot use those. I feel like they make my makeup look blotchy but this is my most used brush. I love it to death and if you don't have it, you are seriously missing out. I guess when we were talking about eyes, I forgot about two of the most important things that I use literally every day. It is the Kaja Eyeshadow Trio. So I have two. I don't know if this one's still available. It's the Toasted Caramel Trio, but you get like a light shimmer, medium shimmer, and a dark shimmer. But the one that I've truly, truly loved is this one right here. It is called Chocolate Dahlia, and you have like a little light shimmery color, and then the perfect crease color, and then you get like a dark brown. So out of all the eye products, I think I would actually get this for every day because it's so compact, you have everything you need, and I have used this like ever since I bought it, I've used it every single day. When I don't have bronzer in my crease, it's this, and not gonna lie, this kind of just looks like bronzer, <laughs> but I love it and it's perfect to travel with. It's so light and compact. For eyebrows, my favorite brow pencil, which I actually need to order in a lighter color because this is way too dark, is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. So what I love about this one, I lost the cap and it just doesn't seem to dry out, whereas with my Anastasia pencil, if I lost the cap, like that thing was dry. Like it was not good anymore, but I've lost my cap on all of these and they stay really creamy. They last all day. This is in the shade 4. It's what I have on now, but I find it a little bit dark. So I do want to pick up the shade 3.5. It is just the best brow pencil in the world. A good dupe is in the ColourPop brow pencil. I do really like that one as well. But I don't know. There's just something about this one that is so creamy, so good. All right, let's talk about mascara. My absolute favorite mascaras from Sephora. One product I can live without. I use it every day. I love it so much with my drugstore mascaras, with my expensive mascaras. I always need to use it. It's the Marc Jacobs Lash Velvet Primer. I don't put this like all over my lash. I just put it at my base. It makes them look like false lashes. Like this is my secret weapon. Two mascaras I love. The Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. It has to be Volume 2. Volume 1 is simply not as good. It actually gets better like the drier it gets. And then recently I've been loving the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. It's what I'm using today. It gives you that false lash look. If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the Legendary Lashes. But I've just been on a Pat McGrath kick recently and I adore this mascara. All right, let's talk about lips. Liners and my like, lip combinations are what I get asked about most. And if I'm being honest, my favorite lip liners are from KKW Beauty and Kylie Cosmetics. I like Nude 1.5 from KKW Beauty and I love Ice Latte and Coconut from Kylie Cosmetics. But I still do love lip liners from Sephora. So I keep my lip products in my little CNC Luxury Makeup Bag which will be available so soon. Obviously I have to make a Sherling Makeup Bag in Camel. There's also like a lighter cream color and black. But my favorite lip liner, all time favorite lip liner from Sephora is the Makeup Forever 
pencil in the color Anywhere Caffeine. It is the perfect, 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 perfect nude lip liner. When I found this, like, I've gone through four of these. The next lip liner I love is Flirt by Huda Beauty. It's like a cult favorite. I know so many people who use this and it's just like a really good nude lip liner. Next is the shade Contour from Pat McGrath. I also like Supernatural. Her lip liners are very, very good. I've searched all over my house for this lip liner. I don't know where it is. I've gone through all my bags and I just saw it. So I don't know where it could possibly be, but Nudist from Marc Jacobs is my favorite lip liner i know it's always sold out but that lip liner is so so good and if i don't find it like i don't know what i'm gonna do because it's always sold out it has to be around here somewhere because i literally just saw it i have three glosses that you absolutely need from sephora i cannot live without having all of these the first is my all-time favorite which is the fenty beauty glass slippers gloss it really reminds me of the glossier lip gloss but i like it better because i find it not as sticky it is a clear gloss trust me you will not regret your decision to pick this up. It is so good. The next gloss is the Patrick Ta gloss in She's Expensive. I actually have two of them because I love them. It's nice. It's minty. It has sparkles. You don't notice them. It just makes your lips look very beautiful. And then the last gloss is from Artist Couture. It's in the color Uncensored 2.0. You don't need a lipstick with this gloss. It just makes your lips look so good. And it's the perfect nude color. So I'll just put a liner on, whichever. Like All of these like lip products go together. And then this gloss. I love the formula. It's nice and smooth and I like that you don't need a lipstick with it But if you do want a lipstick, I only have one to recommend to you guys and it is I have two of them here. <laughs> it is Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. This has been my number one lipstick for years. Like, I need to get rid of this one because it is done. But it is my absolute favorite lipstick. I cannot live without it. I have to have one with me at all times the perfect peachy pinky nude color it's creamy it's delicious and i really think that everyone needs this lip color okay so for setting sprays i really only have one that you guys need it is the morphe continuous setting spray although i don't really use setting spray because i use this it's from amazon it's just like a little facial i don't even know what it is like a little facial spray um and i just put water in it and i love how it makes my makeup look but if you did want to get a setting spray my absolute favorite is the morphe continuous setting spray it makes your makeup just look so buttery and perfect and it blends everything together in terms of fake tan from sephora the only products that i really use are the isles of paradise self tanning water and self tanning drops you have the color dark which i think can be a little bit too dark like i probably should transition to medium right now but i just really love these i don't use the drops as much as i use the water but all i do is i put, do my skincare routine and then before i go to bed i spray my face rub it in wash my hands and then you wake up with the most beautiful natural glow what i did just try though is mixing a little bit of this into a moisturizer and contouring with it before i go to bed and it did do something but nothing like life-changing in terms of hair these changed my life it is the sol de janeiro shampoo and conditioner set i got this because i love the scent so much but it really does make your hair feel so soft so hydrated so smooth and these have become my favorite shampoo and conditioner and they've lasted me a really long time like they still feel very very full two standout products that i absolutely love for my hair the kerastase eight hour magic night serum so this is a night kind of hair treatment that you put on your hair and then you don't need to wash it out which i really really love because i wash my hair once maybe twice a week and i still want to be doing like things to hydrate my hair and if you guys know like the longer you go without washing like the more dry your hair kind of feels but i put this on my hair not a crazy amount but i put it on my hair every night and when you wake up your hair just feels hydrated it doesn't feel too greasy you can like put a lot of this and then when you wake up your hair doesn't feel crazy i swear by this stuff it makes my hair feel so soft and shiny and smooth i even put this on my wet hair when i wash it i just use this all the time and i love it and the next is my favorite dry shampoo it's the brio geo scalp revival charcoal and biotan dry shampoo i personally really love the oh, which one was it it was this dry shampoo right here like it was my favorite but i went through them so quickly because of the aerosol can and what i love about this is that you squeeze the bottle and like stuff comes out and you can close it up and stuff but this has lasted me so long and i use this every single day it doesn't leave a white cast on my hair it gets rid of all the oil doesn't feel heavy and this is by far my favorite 
drying shampoo. The last thing, I don't know if this is included in the sale, but I just wanted to mention it. It wasn't included in the little sale that I got like a few weeks ago, and I don't know if it's going to be included in this whole big sale, but if it is, now's the time to pick up a Dyson. It's the only hair tool I've used since I got it. I actually tried using a regular curling iron and I just couldn't. My hair felt so flat. This really just gives you like the perfect airy curls. Now I actually didn't do it today. This is from yesterday's curls. To me it was worth every penny because you get like a blow dryer. I don't use my old blow dryer anymore. You get that round smoothing brush which I use to smooth down the top of my hair. In terms of perfume, these are the two that stand out to me. You guys know Sol de Janeiro just released a new perfume so good i get so many compliments on this because it smells like you could possibly just smell that delicious but it stays on your skin so well for me it lasts all day like i'll put it on the morning and i could still smell it just as strong at night same goes for this one it's the kaylee vanilla so i love really warm inviting delicious scents this is my all-time favorite vanilla these two, I swear, get the most compliments, and Chanel Mademoiselle, which is like my all-time favorite perfume. Would I want to feel like feminine and girly? That's my favorite, but they don't sell it at Sephora. Okay, so I think that is all the products that I recommended. Now I quickly want to go through and tell you guys what I'm going to be buying during the sale. So there's a lot of stuff I want to get. I do have a Sephora gift card, so I'm not that crazy. I was saving it to use on this order. But there's a lot of stuff I want to get, and when there's these sales, you guys know I go crazy. So the first is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Highlighter Wand in the color Goldgasm. So if you guys know, my all-time favorite secret to having skin that looks like a filter is the Charlotte Tilbury, like this exact thing, but in the shade Pillow Talk, but it's not available at Sephora, so I didn't put it in. But I did want to talk about it, because if this one is anything like Pillow Talk, I think all of our lives will be changed forever. It seriously makes your skin look like you have like an Instagram filter. It is so good. The next thing I want to get is the NARS liquid blush in the shade Orgasm. So if you guys notice, I didn't include a blush because I don't truly have a blush that I absolutely love and I have been loving liquid blushes so I definitely want to try this one and I see a lot of people use it. The next is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in the shade 1. I spoke about this a little bit earlier on in the video and yeah. I just wanted <laughs> I wanted to set under my eyes before I bake. The next is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. This had such good reviews online and anything for glowy makeup. It says a lightweight hydrating serum that keeps oil in check for visibly smoother skin and longer lasting makeup wear. And all of the reviews were super good. I'm not sure about this one, but it's the Lily Lashes La um, Lash Curler. If you guys have any recommendations for the best lash curler, leave them down below along with the products you're planning on picking up. But I need a good lash curler. Mine is like all wonky, the little plastic part or the rubber parts like falling off. And this one has five stars, although there's only two reviews. The next is the Artist Couture Silk Cream Lipstick in the shade Saucy gal. I just really love artist couture. The next is a Lancome Juicy Tube for my mom because she loved Juicy Tubes. The next is the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner because I actually have a sample of it right here and I adore it. I love this lip conditioner so much. This one I'm also not sure about. It's the Slip Silk Pillowcase because one of you guys left a comment on my video saying that I have messed up eyelashes on this eye because of the way I sleep. So I've now told Darren that we are switching sides because these eyelashes need to grow and I want to get a silk pillowcase. The next is the Mario Badescu facial spray because I want to put it into my little facial mister because I saw someone on TikTok do that. The next is the Match Stick Matte Skin Stick in the shades Vanilla and Bamboo because someone I follow on Instagram uses them as foundation and her skin always looks flawless. So I'm willing to try it if it's gonna look as good as hers. The next is the Charlotte Tilbury Loose Powder, this one right here that I am out of. It will have been my third, so you guys know I love that. The next is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Rocking Cool Eyeliner in Barbarella Brown, because I love a good brown eyeliner. The one I am using right now is the Marc Jacobs Brown Eyeliner, but it doesn't really stand out to me. You know, it doesn't like, make me super happy to use, and I love the formula of her eye pencils. The next is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette because it just looks like up my alley. It looks delicious and beautiful. So I said, why the heck not? 
I don't know about that one. I'm not 100% sure about all of these products, but so far this is my list. Then the Laura Mercier Translucent um, Setting Powder because the girl who used the matchsticks also used this and said it was her favorite and I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm, I'm willing to test it out again. And then the Precisely My Brow in the shade 3.5, like I said. So there is a lot of stuff here. This total is scaring me. But like I said, the sale doesn't come often. I have like a pretty hefty gift card that I am going to be using. But all these products I'm super excited to try. I For the silk pillowcase, I've had a few from Amazon, but they've always ended up being like super cheap and like falling apart. So perhaps I just need to spend a little bit more on it. Alrighty, you guys. So that is it for my Sephora sale recommendations and what I'm going to be picking up. As usual, everything will be linked down below. Let me know down below what you are going to be picking up and what your top recommendations for me are. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. I love you guys and I'll see you guys back here next time.